<laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we had a little chat about um, exercise, my exercise routine. <laughs> this evening, uh, gonna some other topic. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk about, you know. I have to make content for this channel, so <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. And that's going to be my story, you know. <laughs> I have to do something. Uh, I did a little uh, walking around today, and um, today most of the um, the stores and even the big stores are open. Just the malls now, I think they should be open soon. But from today, uh, we have access now to go to different parts of the country. Uh, we are not restricted anymore from uh, going like um, to the different districts. Because uh, before, that's the way it was set up here in, uh, in Portugal. Uh, I'm where I'm at now, I'm at uh, what, the um, Lisbon, Lisbon area. And uh, it's huge, you know, <laughs> Lisbon is a big city. And it has a lot of dis different districts. Uh, and you have like outside the city. And you also have uh, another city called Porto. So the idea I had was to go like uh, visit the other uh, towns and the other districts and stuff before all this happened. <laughs> So this situation just blank everything out for me, but uh, I'm a little skeptical about what's going on right now because I just don't want to just go and just in trains and metro and stuff and uh, when this thing is still spreading, you know, so I want to hold up a little bit. I just today I forgot to, to, to <laughs> I forgot to buy my vitamin C. Actually, um, I take my vitamin C in the morning, every morning with my vitamin B3. And uh, when I was in Panama, I bought a whole big bottle of vitamin B3, so I have a lot of that stuff still. You know that you need, you need your vitamin D uh, for uh, if you've been you know, out of the sun for a while, you know, uh, because it's the sun that actually makes the vitamin, uh, produce the vitamin C in your body, you know. So if you don't get sun, uh, yeah, you have to supplement. And I've been doing that for a while and I've noticed the difference, believe me. <laughs> it's a big difference. Uh, a lot of people has uh, deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, and it doesn't know. Uh, because it doesn't know, it just doesn't know what it is and why. Uh, fortunately, I've uh, Googled a lot of stuff and I know a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. <laughs> so uh, I can tell you it's very important uh, to supplement on vitamin D, especially for people who is confined to their homes and doesn't get enough sun. Uh, and of course, your vitamin C in the morning, you know. Yeah, so tomorrow, first thing I have to remember to do that. But anyway, uh, I don't, I want to make this. Yesterday, I think I, <laughs> I didn't do such a good job with that video because uh, I think uh, I was talking a lot too much before I, I did the exhibition. <laughs> and then when I did the exhibition, the exercise the exhibition, uh, I didn't do, uh, the camera wasn't set up to the right height and everything. And I didn't uh, give you some of the best exercises. I mean, you know, I just give you just a few. But we'll do that another time. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's real, it's something, you know. Uh, you have to, you know, exercise, do your exercises and take your vitamins if you want to live, if you want to, you know, and eat right. 
Anyway, so let's go back to what my plans are. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna um, hold off a little bit. Um, uh, maybe another week or two and see how it goes, you know, see if they are. Uh, we're still averaging more like two, three hundred uh, positive cases every every day. So, but it's trickling down. That's why they're opening because it's, it's on the way down. So, but I'm going to wait a little bit more before I start to really free free and uh, moving around in the uh, metro and trains. Because uh, certain areas uh, where I want to go, uh, some areas are like a half an hour away I can do. I can go just take a, the metro and then switch to the train and get there and maybe get back the same day. So, uh, but it means, you know, possibly going on a train with a whole bunch of people and you don't know. Even though they have masks on, uh, you know, everybody has masks these days. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the requirements of the um, the <laughs> uh, the opening that everybody has to wear masks. Uh, not necessarily when you're walking, but you know, to enter the stores and the train area and metro area and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I uh, I was just looking at a map. Uh, they have different areas. Uh, one of the areas I wanted to visit was a place called Sintra. I don't know if you can see it right there. And it's Sintra. Um, and it has a lot of uh, different... Um, it's a beautiful place. Uh, a guy staying here in the hotel even told me that. that um, uh, he been in that area and it's really nice, beautiful to see. So I can go there and, you know, take some nice pictures and give you a good idea what's what it's gonna be like. So uh, so you can see this is where I wanna go and I don't know if you can see it well. But it has castles. It says it actually says here uh, where it says it yeah it says here that it's parks and palaces of Sintra. So they have parks, like uh, nice, you know, uh, parks and uh, palaces, big palaces, and uh, uh, looks looks great. Look, you know, you have castles. So it's an interesting place to visit. Uh, but I want to go there, you know, as soon as I can, uh, as soon as I'm able to, uh, as soon as I want to <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, Portugal has a lot to offer I mean it's it's uh, it has also a place called uh, which is about 20 minutes away from here called Casillas which is uh, by the coastal area and it's you know also beautiful uh, coastal or river probably if it's 20 minutes it's probably just river uh, probably up uh, Casillas and down I don't know I gotta check these maps, find out some more about it. But uh, it's a place that has a lot of. Uh, it, it it has a. You can swim. Uh, it has yachts. Uh, it's a nice town, like you know. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a different, a uh, lot of different places in this country that you can go that the tourists come and visit here for, especially to go in those areas and. Uh, I want to do that, you know. I want to really uh, uh, sightsee, <laughs> do some sightseeing around this country before I leave. Actually, it looks like I'm going to just stay here in Portugal and then from here go back to Central America or South America or somewhere. Uh, because uh, I think uh, it's too risky. <laughs> it's going to be too risky for me to stay in Europe and go to different countries where I have all this stuff. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> so if you talk about it, uh, be, um, YouTube will take your video down. So I'm going to try to avoid it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me...
Oh. Well, you know, it's getting dark here now. It's already dark, actually, because we are like five hours ahead of uh, places like the Caribbean, from the Caribbean, five hours difference. Uh, let me just put this right here. And then relax a little bit. Oh, I forgot something. Yes. Well, time is flying. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's the topic for today. You know, uh, uh, tonight, this evening. It's day where you are, it's night here, so. Uh, yeah, um, I could start making some plans again, you know. I guess by, probably by the end of the month, things should be looking pretty good here. Uh, let me see. There's a place I wanted to go called Cassius. Yeah. So beautiful places, man. Oh, man. I would advise anybody, if you're traveling, you want to come to a nice place, this is this is a good place, you know. Portugal is a nice place to come. You can see, even if you're in Portugal and you say, you know, you want to go, like, to, to Morocco or one of those places, Morocco is fairly close to here as well. So you can like hop to Morocco, come back and then go back, you know, wherever you come from, uh, traveling from. But uh, yeah, I have my tablet here and I wanted to show you, give you an idea of what, uh, just, let me see if I can just angle this a little bit. You see, this is the area of Casillas. Oh no, what's happening here? Let me see, it's going down. Oh no, no. Something I'm doing wrong here. God, just a minute. Give me a chance. Uh, yeah, this uh, uh, I'm going into YouTube here. This uh, YouTuber, and uh, let me give you his. Uh, he's a uh, he only has like 16 subscribers, but he's been here in Portugal uh, lately, and uh, he made a video. His name is Sergio Bondarenko. Uh, and uh, I can't show you all because you know it's copyright stuff, it's his. So, but I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of what you'll see when you get here. See, that's Cassias, that's about 20, I think it's about a little over 20 minutes from here. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful area. Look at this. It's the town area and a uh, beautiful place. 
So I want to go there, you know, because it's not too far from here and I can uh, walk with my camera and uh, walk around and show you some, some of the scenery here, you know, from there. Look, it's nice. Look how beautiful it looks. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I can't show you too much because this is, like I said, it's his uh, video that he took. Uh, let me see. Oh, look at this. Looks like some Martin, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Beautiful areas. Oh, can't wait to go there and do some uh, exploring. Look at the park, man. Look at the park. Oh. So nice. Yeah. So I gotta get there, man. I gotta get there and uh, show you some, make some videos. But, um, yeah, so I'm a bit skeptical about the whole thing because, you know, going in this train, right, taking the chance right now, I just don't want to do that right away, but it's be something to do, you know. In the meantime, I'm just going to cool out here and make some videos. <laughs> chat with you and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, I'm doing this for a hobby you know and to document my travels so uh, uh, if you subscribe if you go to YouTube and you look over PA Favieras and you just subscribe and uh, every time that I put up a uh, video you'll get notification and you can watch it you can see it free <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah my life is coming so social now <laughs> um, yeah but uh, in the travel you know uh, especially one thing I've learned uh, about traveling since I've been traveling is that even though I'm traveling uh, I still have to like uh, care of myself you know and uh, I've been doing a pretty good job of that lately uh, well for a while now <laughs> uh, yeah you need exercise you need to uh, you know do some walking what I do I don't really run uh, jog I do like uh, brisk walking and uh, I do the Tai Chi for the 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 uh, the energy and the uh, respiratory uh, respiration you know to inhale and exhale for my lungs and stuff uh, that's why the the qigong is very good the video that I was showing you yesterday uh, that was uh, that is uh, something very good to do in the morning uh, and and in the evening. Uh, and uh, it's 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 it really helps, you know. Somehow I I I got a lot of energy. I didn't have it before, <laughs> and it's the only reason I think I'm getting all this energy is because of what I'm doing, you know. Uh, um, I'm not doing doing any stringent and uh, like hard tough. Uh, exercises or anything like that uh, but uh, what the, the Qigong, the Tai Chi does for you it gives you the flow it helps you uh, 
you know, like when you inhale and you exhale, that helps your 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 whole body, you know, your whole, especially your respiration respiratory um, system. And uh, I used to have a problem with my uh, digestive, and now it's pretty good, it's working well since I've changed my habit of eating. <laughs> Oh boy, so anyway, yeah, I was speaking to Franklin, my cousin, yesterday, and he was telling me how he and Gary goes and do does um, their uh, exercise, you know, he's in the morning and in the evening time. Uh, yeah, I like to hear when people still, you know, make it a, a, a must, you know, a, a, you know, put it put it like number one thing you have to do or number two on a daily basis uh, it's been doing wonders wonders for my life so far thank God uh, yeah so yeah the videos uh, getting up there I think I'm gonna have to end it just now but uh, it has been a pleasure having you uh, watch this and uh, share this video with you uh, I hope that uh, you'll continue to watch <laughs> upcoming videos <laughs> and uh, follow me in my travel oh yeah it has been an experience so far Believe me, <laughs> this is the biggest one <laughs> because I tell you, man, if I didn't believe that this would have happened to me, you know, <laughs> on my second Europe trip, this was supposed to be the best ever. You know, after I went to um, uh, Bulgaria and Macedonia and uh, Albania and all those places and uh enjoyed it so much i had to return and uh for some more <laughs> but i really would have liked to go to the ukraine maybe russia <laughs> and uh romania and all those uh, hungary i really wanted to do that trip but Sometimes what will be will be. <laughs> we don't get to choose. <laughs> oh my God, that's <yes>. so. Um, <laughs> I had a plan to go to the uh, where the um, the Philippines and all those places. And every time I plan, something happens. So maybe I don't have to reach there. <laughs> or even Africa. You know, Africa is an uh, upcoming. Uh, this now everybody wants to go to Africa. Uh, it's a fast. It has the fastest growing economies right now. Countries, you know, they they doing pretty well and they're changing their ways, getting away from the colonization. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I had more time. There's so many much. More things I would like to discuss or talk with you, chat, you know. But I have to end the video here. So, good evening. Thanks for watching. Ciao.